So today we're going to look at my new laptop. I ordered a MacBook Pro M3 Pro. This is going to replace my Intel. And to show you kind of one of the reasons why I'm doing this, I'll play this little video clip and you can listen to my 2020 Intel MacBook just sounding like a complete jet engine. I think in terms of coding and doing programming and general web browsing and stuff like that, an Intel Mac is still completely fine and it will do everything that you need it for. But now that I started making videos and recording videos and doing more demanding tasks, it's uh, taken its toll in terms of the performance and its struggles. It takes typically over 30 minutes to export a video, which is a lot of time to be without your main work computer. So I got the M3 Pro in space black. It's the new color. They added an anti fingerprint coating on the top. But from what I understand, it's the only place that they added this coating. So what do you think? What does it look like? Is it uh, you can you see the fingerprints? And I ran some benchmarks just to give you some idea of the performance. But just note that these are just benchmarks. It doesn't really indicate real world usage, but I thought it would be interesting to show the differences between the two machines. Speedometer is one that people kind of say is meaningless, but for me building web applications and UI components, it kind of makes sense that I would run this because what it's doing is building out components and different frameworks and stuff on the in the browser on the fly. So it's kind of relevant to what I use the computer for. Here I'll show some Geekbench scores for the single thread. And this is what the multi-thread looks like. So it's a pretty big jump for me in terms of performance. This is uh, replacing a four-year-old machine. It's Diablo 3. So I actually really love Diablo 3. This is one of my favorite games, even though it's older. And you'll see here a video clip of me playing it on my old Intel base macbook and just note that if you're looking to game you should not buy a macbook but if i'm traveling or out and about and i want to play some diablo it is nice to have the option and this is what it looks like running on the new macbook with the same settings as you can see the frame rate is crazy it's really good it's really smooth and this is what it looks completely cranked up to everything high settings and it's still smooth and still super playable. And if you're interested, here is the read write speeds for both of the laptops. You'll see there's a substantial increase in both the read and the write speed in the new MacBook Pro, which will make things just work a little bit snappier, which is awesome.